she saw you do something that was bad, they're going to hold it against you. So before you even have children, work on becoming a good man, a good father, a good role model. You will not have so much stress later in life, I promise you. Your child will laugh at you and think, I'm not going to listen to this old man. What do you know? Leave me alone. That's what's going to happen. Work on being a man and a good role model, not bad. Controls anger. We talked about it, right? Give me an example. No stress. Okay, no stress. How can you control anger? Give me an example, like a scenario. What is happening? Yeah. Remain calm. The nanny was, remember? Me, 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 and me, me, me. Then you're just like, I gotta go. Excuse me. You don't have to fight back. Keep calm. What did the Bible say? Be slow to what? Slow to speak and quick to listen and slow to. Get angry. Be slow, slow to speak, slow to get angry, and quick to listen. Did you know a wise man? Guys, what's up? Listen up, guys. All right, thank you. All right. Guys, 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 listen up, quiet down. Afterwards. Now, perfect example. Perfect example. I'm going to use it. We said be slow to get angry. Now what happened here? Was it slow anger or was it quick? It was quick. Now, this is what I'm saying. None of us are perfect. I'm not pointing anyone out. Guys, listen up here. None of us are perfect. I also, with my brother, I even, the, the, two days ago, I fought with him. He was getting on my nerves and I pushed this guy. I pushed him. I really was angry. He can testify to that. He wanted to take my broom or whatever and I told him no and I pushed him and he went on the floor. I got angry. So I'm not going to say, oh, I'm perfect, no. But God helps me every day. I ask God help me to keep my mouth shut. Help me to keep my anger down because I can get angry. So that's what it is. God will help you as you are humble and asking him to help you. Forgiving, we said it. Hard worker. We said that when two went to hard worker. Hmm? Yes, he goes and does, what does he, what? He provides. Yeah, he provides. Will he allow his wife to do all of the work? No. Uh, no. A wife, a woman can also help out and work, there's no problem. Uh, uh, yeah. But he will have to get up his butt off the couch. Start smoking, start drinking. <laughs> with the help of God and go work and take care of your family. Responsibility, a man. And wives, wisdom. Especially one day when you have kids, you will need a lot of wisdom. Now, if you are honest with yourselves, okay, if you are honest with yourselves, would you say that you are a difficult child with your parents or are you easy? Are you difficult? Easy. In oh, okay, you're easy. I was difficult. Who is difficult? In between. In between. So you always, always do what your parents tell you to do. You always listen. You're perfect children. No. no. None of us are. So, one day, one day, you will need wisdom. Trust me, ask my mother when you have children. You think you are naughty and bad, and oh, I'm going to show them, I'm going to do what I want. Hey, wait till you have a son and a daughter. Then you will see men. Was I that bad? Was I really that bad? You will need wisdom to teach your son, to help your son and your daughter to be a good parent. So they will grow up to have a good future and not to be skeletons, not to fall into drugs. That's the future the devil wants for you. He wants to destroy you. And this is what the end of the whole thing is. <clears throat> this whole lie that you've been hearing, a man has to be tough. He has to have a six pack. He has to have muscles. A man has to sleep around with girls. Uh, that shows I'm a man. Yeah, I'm a man. I'm strong. I'm going to tell you, that's what you think. I'm sorry that you think that way. I'm sorry for you because you were lied to. And that is wrong. Okay. Yeah. I think this was a, a word of God. Children have parents who don't. 
dann kämpfen wir. Also der Vater ist der Alkoholik und der Vater ist er. But I thank God, I grew up having a father. And many of us never had the opportunity to have a father. Because I'm going to say this clear, and so I don't judge anybody. But if we look in mostly our current communities, is that our young men, and I'm talking about when you guys are young men, our young men goes, go and they would make a girl pregnant, leave her, she's 13, 14 years old, that whole life is a mess. And then a child is born. That child does not have a future. There's no father that's going to be a role model. Like Kesha said, there's not, not a father that's going to be a leader. So I want to encourage you as young men. Be a man. What mark a man? A man with a rechrat. A man with a rechrat. You know, it's young, huh? You can see where you come from. And you can see where you come from. You can see where you come from. You can see where Dan is het niet zelf. Maar dank aan de toekomst, jongen. Wanneer die verzoeken gaan komen, moet die een die twee verzoeken. Zij, ik wil iets maken op mijn leven. Ik wil mijn education wil ik klaar maken. En een dag wanneer ik recht is, dan wil ik een goede man wees voor mijn vrouw. Ik wil een goede meer wees. Ik wil een respect. Respect yes, the in the ears and the details. So this is the name of an arm for me now.
They said to me, help me. But if you are humble, God will help you. Why? Because Jesus is humble from his heart. It says he was and is humble from his heart. And this is what he expects from us as men as well. To be humble, to lead by example, to help where we can help because we are motivated by love. For those who were there at the Bible study today, we spoke about what, how do people know who Christians are? People knew us and know us by our love. If you are motivated by love, you will never mistreat someone. Yes, we will fall. Yes, we become angry. Yes, we sometimes yell and we also sometimes hurt people by our words, sometimes even physically. But we can ask for forgiveness and then Jesus says, sin no more. You try your best not to sin again. But guys, you can never do it out of your own strength. Mm. You need God's Holy Spirit. Mm. He helps you. He gives you self-control. He is called the spirit of self-discipline. He gives you self-discipline. And then you can be a layer of your sneak. So that there's some lazy person here. We all struggle. I struggle with being lazy. When it comes to studying, when it comes to doing work. I guess work. By a lay. Not good me lay be God will it me. It's not a good example. We must work hard at what we do. Because God says, whether we eat or drink or whatever we do, whatsoever we do, we do all for the glory of God. So, I'm sorry, but I think we're going to end it here for today. We're not going to watch the movie like I said last week. We're going to watch that next week then, okay? So we're going to stop here for today. So that you guys can recall and remember, just look at this already on. We saw the we saw the image which spoke about what it means to be a man. And we want to be men after God's own heart. You know, God says there was a man called King David. He was a man after God's own heart. That's someone where God can say, This is a man, so much a man he is. And how can you find out about this man? You guys got a Bible, right? You got it as a gift. You have to open up your Bible and you have to read about this in the Word of God. How many of you are reading your Bibles? How many are reading your Bibles? A few of you, okay. That's good. But guys, if you really want to get to know God, if you want to be a man after God's own heart, you must get to know God. Only God can teach you through the Word of God, the Holy Spirit is our teacher, not me. The Holy Spirit will teach you. I try my best to tell you what stands in the Word of God, but you have the Holy Spirit. You don't actually need a teacher. The Word of God says you've got God living in you if you are a child of God. And if you don't understand something, you read something, you can ask God and He will explain it to you in due time. Not all the time, straight away. Some things we don't spach. Uns mit some things spach. If you want to get something good, if you want to buy something, sometimes you have to wait half a year for them to bring it on the market. So you must wait. Same thing with God. We must be patient. Okay? It's another fruit of the Spirit. Patience. God can teach us patience. Alright guys. So at the end, is there anybody who wants to pray? At the end. <laughs> Not all at once. Not all at once, sir. <laughs> no way. Remember that prayer is just speaking to God, it's just saying what you what you feel in your heart. So let's close our eyes and pray at the end. Okay, last little bit. Is there a place? Is there a place? Oh, they said somebody wants to pray. Oh, okay. 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 Amen. Amen.